थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स फॉर सो मच लव ऑन दिस वीडियो हु कॉमर्स माय अकाउंट मेनू लिंक्स रिमूव अपडेट एंड ऐड एंड एज पर यूजर्स रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द सेकंड पार्ट यू कैन सी योर सेकंड पार्ट प्लीज योर सेकंड पार्ट प्लीज आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ सो लेट्स डू सम क्विक रिकैप हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव एडेड अ कंप्लीटली न्यू आइटम new menu item in uh, my account area of the e-commerce uh, and to check out how i how we did this and what we can do or how we can play with all these menu items and uh, the links how to add them remove them please check out this video okay and uh, uh, in this video we are going to add actual content in new menu item here you can see it is now for four page oops that page can't be found instead of that we are going to add uh, actual content here so let me paste some uh, code in uh, functions.php to save little time so here it is and the code the first code uh, here here the old uh, function you can see Have we added a new menu item in menu links? Now, to uh, add the page for our new menu item, we need endpoint. So we are going to here basically adding endpoint. So what is the endpoint? Uh, let me show you. Uh, if I go to uh, my orders, you can see here the orders in the menu bar. You can if If I go to account details, you can see edit account. So uh, these are the endpoints, and these endpoints are actually uh, for these menu items. And now we need our particular endpoint for this page, new account, new menu item. So we are going to use the same new to my account here for this, and to do uh, so we need to add. Uh, one function in init, one action in init action. So this is the ju just a function name, and here I have created a function. So add rewrite endpoint new to my account. Okay, you can find the same thing here new to my account, and here is also new to my account. And what? Uh, this endpoint will should be act like it is a ep pages so it will act like pages okay so after adding write any content okay first let me show you the next fun function for the content you can see the function here okay so add action who commerce account new to my account you can see the same thing here and the underscore endpoint new to my account and underscore endpoint and here again it's just a function name i'm going to write a function here and to make a, let me show you just one example here i'm going to comment this code i will show you the details after this uh, we can say echo This is my new menu on my account page. Okay, so this content should be visible to me. But before doing that, we have added a rewrite rules here. So we have to do first of all uh, save this permalink again. So go to settings in the back end, and then permalinks, and click save. Once you save this, a uh, WooCommerce now recognize your endpoint. This is must must thing. You have to save permalinks after adding rewrite rules. Okay, this re after this rewrite rules, you must need to save permalink. So the rewrite endpoint is there, and our content is there. Let Let's see what happens if we click new menu item. 
you can see this is menu menu item on account page you can write any content you wish here you can create forms and apply all the other logics as required so to um, in my case for the particular um, particular client want uh, to edit the content of that uh, uh, section by himself so instead of writing a backend settings for him and all doing all those stuff i make it uh, really easy by simply just saying him that uh, just edit this page and the content will be reflected here so you can see the code here the page data i am going to uh, get the content from this page my account dashboard page content and just apply the content filter so that if he puts any short code over there or something over there and he, he actually he was using a uh, uh, wp battery visual composer so he want to edit everything with the visual composer and the same thing should be visible on the con uh, my account page so uh, i uh, took this content and apply the content filter uh, so that all the short codes and all things are applied properly and echo it out and that works perfectly so let me show you the backend page here you can see all pages and i have created new menu item content okay i have uh, I didn't put this uh, page as, as it is just a content for this you know, menu item I didn't put it as a, a published page it you can see here visibility is a private okay so this is private page so it is not available to publicly everyone and now my client edit anything here and it will be reflected over here after changing the code let us see you can see this is the way you can allow user to edit content of new menu item when they want and i wrote it here you can see i'm going to write test and update it and here we go you can see test is here so thus the client was happy as he can edit everything in a visual composer from the backend on in this page and it was reflecting right here so it was just a little trick other than that you might need a get user id function here uh, particularly in this segment to get the all the details of the user and apply different type of the uh, you know filters and uh, get the information about the users and apply those details to make it so always remember you can get current user id function use uh, function here and easily get the data of you the user and print it here or do your logical things with it so let's let us summarize uh, first of all uh, uh, we have added a menu link you can see it in first video then we have added a uh, any action uh, which will uh, add a rewrite endpoint for us for the new menu item i got this content from right here okay and the third one is we added actual content and to add actual content you need to write WooCommerce account then whatever your endpoint was okay so endpoint uh, name must be the same here here okay so and then the function name and in this function you can do anything to add the content so thank you very much for watching this video and see you in next video bye bye please subscribe and comment on this channel thank you very much